he, when you play EG right now, he is the guy with the big target on his back. And I think it's, it's on the rest of his team to generate a little bit of space for him in the early game. Definitely, and uh, we will see if they manage to do so in just a few seconds as the teams are ready to play. So let's head into the first game of uh, today's tournament. It's going to be Evil Geniuses going up against MVP Phoenix. And for that, we head over to our casters. Yeah. So 46% goes the way. March, nice Vizia, isolate Sumail. Deer and PBD need to come over and help him out. Maybe defensive disruption. How do they do this? March so low. The damage to Mail to be the first one. But March, he will go down to PPT. He was waiting for him to come Fear. back out of there. But Fear is so low. The, the raise from Febby. He's managed to use two of them already. That's a 2 1 trade off in favor of MVP. Uh, Universe looking for a kill over on Nuts. He's got the call, and Nuts should die here. Where's your spin? He's too far away on that last spin. The paralyzing cask obviously won't bounce, and Nuts, Marsh doesn't want to attack him because he knows he'll actually proc the spin. One more attack from Universe. They're going to body block him and raise him down. But He's Universe, there's your spin. Universe will take the kill. The can he get out? Scott three. He's managed to bring in four heroes. PPD's here. He's home and host. Space creator. It's unbelievable how Universe does this on the offlane. Now in middle lane, is there a Vortex? There's static remnants, but Febby copying a fair amount of damage. There's your Vortex, leveling up a little bit early, but is there enough damage to kill off Febby? There's not another attack. One more from Samael. He's going to take the kill. March walking through the remnants, but there is the quill spray in from KP. That was his last bit of mana. He only just had enough to do it. They're looking for now that combination. Like, we've seen SD's combo with a lot of different heroes. You mentioned the Lushrak. You can also have the old-fashioned uh, SD into Clockwork as well for a battery assault, but this one's so simple. QO, well, he's gonna get called. Where are these spins? Not enough of them. They come up for PPD, trying to ignore Universe with a Fissure and Searing Chase. PPD, defensive destruction will buy himself a little bit more space, but QO moves up. PPD being blocked by his own creep wave. QO's flame grab burned him out, but is this really worth it? They got the kill on PPD, but a what cost to Nuts as well. Universe, spin like a top. He's looking for the kill on Nuts. One more attack, this range creep. Where is your spin, Universe? The John generator gods are not there for him, but the battle Hunger, the movement speed is now up to 380. Nuts knows he cannot run away from this. Maybe he can deny himself over to one of the neutrals, but that's going to be his best case scenario around the tree line. Universe behind him. Nuts, he's going to get denied to the neutrals as well. The QO chasing up the universe, cuts through the tree line. Searing changes up, so universe will be controlled. There's no really that much support coming in apart from, oh, here he is. March on the way, but PPD, defensive disruption. He's actually going to do an aggressive one, taking him out and body blocking up March, so he cannot reach into universe. And March, the Fissure is there, but Universe on 20 HP, Searing Chains queue, whoa, he only got PPD, March doesn't want to go for it. And Universe again escapes by the skin of his teeth. But EG saw this coming, in fact they were waiting for it. Put down the, gra the uh, Observer ward, so they saw all of MVP move up here. And that's why PPD and Fear are holding back a long way. Owie, okay, disruption, catch up, Fear. Gonna go with the loose and beam, and then with the slave. Bristleback slow, and in comes Sumail. Ball lightning down, he'll take it to Bristleback. Need to jump again, March, there's no Fissure of Albi. Don't throw down, Femi! Comes the entire Eclipse! Sumail will go into March, it's a double kill for Sumail. Nuts on the retreat, back behind the tower. The Soul Ring pops again, so Nuts in front of he him. Soul's bounding regen. around, and now he's gonna go down. He just ran a burst perfectly. As you said, regeneration rune was fueling the fire of the Soul Spirit. And, I mean, what do you have to say about that fight so far? And he's actually going bottom for this QO yeah, Ember Spirit. Yeah, QO is And he's so actually going to get sipped in from the top. Oh! <laughs> We're playing Lawnmower Storm Spirit. PPD. Well, there's your spirit jump down by QO. He saw where PPD was because of the Observer Ward. And PPD purge. He's got enough space. Living on 14 HP. The Eclipse from Fear will do the job. There was just enough stick charges to keep PPD alive. Play, make a play like that. Just have enough stick charges when the Ember Spirit even had the vision advantage on you. Now Universe will see if he can survive. Paralyzing Cask, the Fidge is going to block him in here. And Universe will have no point, no, no, uh, okay. Well, they have no stuns. That'll work. Okay, yeah, they do. They commit the Echo Slam. The call gives him the armor. Spin like a top. Can he do it? He tries the Culling Blade. Not in time, but he's done enough damage to allow Samael to come in and take out two. He needs to get the hell out of here, though. He can't take the second. He's got one more jump up his sleeve. And PPD, and he's going to purge on the Bristleback. Is Samael going to go for this? Lena's died once again up on that top lane. With MVP, the you don't want to do this. Even with that double damage rune over in QO, you do not want to fight into EG when they're going to fish you. Maybe if you can do that, they break the Aegis already. The side of this searing chains dropping axe quite low, and Febby winds up the ultimate! That's a big, this. big kill! Moving down further into PPD, Fear, he has a cliff, but does he really want to do this? Now he does! QO has jumped up, Universe goes for the dunk too early! Samael is popped back, he's TPing in, 
They want to try and get some counter kills, and there's your jump in. Orchid over on the Earthshaker, no echo slam. He's gonna pop from this. Same with Nuts and Storm Spirit dragging Bimby up and leaving him stranded on the hill. Great buyback. Bristleback came into the fight again after respawning, but Samel making that buyback well worth it. Does MVP have a single uh, way to stop that? Universe in trouble. PPT, the Fitch is going to stop him from going that defensive uh, disruption. And now we'll come in. Purging on QO. The Yule it from Alvi. Light Strike Array follow up. QO. Again, it feels. Deja vu. They go in too deep. Alvi, look how quick he's moving over. There's more support for Light Strike Array. It got two of them as well. They have to back out of here. Fear's in a little bit of trouble. There's no extra support, no defensive disruption, and they're leaving him for dead. EG just realized that there's no way they can save him, so just get the hell out. They're trying to go for more right now. Kyo doesn't have his ultimate up, though. I feel like MVP are forcing this too hard, though. Like, aside of his searing chain, they, they, they catch PPD. One cool spray is not enough. Defensive disruption, Universe jumps out. Catcher as well over on Bristleback, and Universe is looking to go. They need a little bit more damage on the Bristleback to get that culling blade to work. Have to start oh, getting wait. out right now. Sumail's coming back. Hey, you got to jump. Where's Sumail? He's in through the rear, buying space. The Death Ward's gonna drop, but at the same time, Nuts has to cancel that one because he gets orchided up. I say he has to. He has no choice. Maledix is not enough to kill off the axe, but up comes QO. Light Striker right. How he hitting him just on the tip, and QO is gonna go down. That Laguna Blade giving him not enough damage yet, but it will be now. The SF caught out. Defensive disruption. There it is. Three heroes in quick succession for MVP. I don't know about you, Bliss, but I just feel like they're just trying to force it against EG too hard. If this isn't taking into account the man who's playing objective-based gaming, Fear remembers what Dota's all about, taking out buildings and forcing into the racks. Yeah, Fear's like the responsible dad. He's like, okay, guys, we gotta take these towers down. Jump. There it is on QO. Owie. Damn! That Laguna Blade just burns through him over, over KP. They're gonna get the last striker raid too. The Death Ward is going to go to work, but how much damage is it really doing? Universe takes a little bit of tick, but Storm Spirit, He's got Aegis the Immortal still up his sleeve, so jumping in again. There's your Echo Slam from March, but the damage is negligible. Fear turns on the Eclipse. He's looking for more than just the Earthshaker. He's gonna get nuts and then into Febby. He's running back to the Tier 3 Tower. GG, 29 minutes. Evil Geniuses revenging game number one up against the Koreans.